Hello and welcome to my new tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make those little health bars with the hearts. And it's super easy. Uh, it doesn't take much time. And um, yeah, so let's start. Okay, so for the heart setup I just used uh, sprites uh, for uh, uh, instead of images. So I think sprites are a lot easier to handle and it's not that complicated. And yeah, I have those three hearts here. Um, one, two, three. It's important that you name them. Like here, well, you just can uh, name them hard har um, one or hard two, it doesn't matter. Um, I also have this black heart here. Uh, it's underneath the red heart. And this is just for when, uh, when later in the game the red heart vanishes because we died or anything. Um, it just looks a lot better. And yeah, we leave that there. What's important about it, uh, about that, is that uh, you have to adjust the order and layer because uh, if you have zero, it could be possible that uh, it overlaps and you just see the black one instead of the red uh, instead of the red one, and yeah, so you just have to adjust that to minus one, like this. So yeah. So underneath the map, I have this uh, trigger, this big red line, and. This is for when you're falling off the stage. You uh, get respawned uh, back here. And it also adds one uh, plus one to your death trigger, uh, to your death counter. Uh, we will discuss that later, I will show you that. And it also uh, has this respawn trigger tag. Uh, if you don't know how to make a tag, you just go and add tag, um, go on plus and type something on your name and save it and just um, choose it from here and um, yeah you also should do that because it will be important for later and last but not least we have this little game over uh, writing will uh, which will get uh, teleported uh, up here when we uh, are out of hearts you don't have to do that i just like to do this and yeah it's feel free to do it so I guess this is everything about the setup. So let's start with the code. Okay, so the first thing we do in our script is to uh, delete the void start and update method. And um, then we just add a private game object and name it hot one Then we just copy this and take it times three for each heart we have. So, okay, like this. Then um, this is something extra. Uh, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. It's for the game over screen. It's, yeah, it's optional. Then we add an integer and um, name it death count or death counter. This is pretty important, so do that, please. <laughs> so, okay. Um, the next thing is uh, we uh, we create a void uh, named awake, like this, and and in here we get the components. So, uh, hard one game object dot find. And this uh, searches for our game object we have um, attached to our scene, and in this case we name uh, we have the heart container one. Then copy this again. Copy this whole thing again. Make it times three change the numbers like this and we also take the game over and do the same thing so game object dot find game over okay so this is just the name of the game object you have okay Okay, so then we add uh, another void 
uh, on collision enter 2d and yeah the rest is pretty easy so we create a vector 2 uh, a vector 3 um, respawner this is so we, where we can um, respawn at a special location and this location will be um, one second will be zero 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 so uh, x zero y zero and z zero and one second i have to delete that okay yep uh, okay like this then make an if clause collision dot collider dot um, game object oh no dot game object dot compare tag and we need the tag um, respawn trigger like this so um, death counter plus equals one so this basically means if uh, we trigger this respawn trigger uh, so this uh, the big red line uh, we get plus one in our death counter and yeah we need that death counter for uh, the hearts later to delete them and then we need to um, transform the position of the player so the player doesn't uh, fall into the void forever like this and yeah we can look that up real quick okay so when I start um, yeah no when I fall down I get respawned here and get plus one on the death trigger uh, on the death counter so um, yeah okay then we make another if if death counter equals one destroy odd one like this and we just copy that again paste it three times so um, change these numbers to two and three and also those down there and now when we die through the uh, uh, through uh, for falling we get death counter plus one and if the death counter uh, equals one it destroys one heart of ours and if we we uh, after three uh, after three times dying we want to have a game over so we just do this if death counter equals three um, oops destroy our player so just the game object and um, instantiate the game over screen so instantiate game over um, we just use the vector free respawner so um, the game over uh, was just spawn at zero 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 so we just use this because we are lazy and um, Returning the identity 
uh, what this does is it's just um, we can uh, spin it and this is just a default like so it's not spinned yeah okay now we can see if it's working so if I jump down yeah I lose a heart but it's the wrong way <laughs> so it should go from left to right okay um, I have to fix that okay so I found the error it's not that big of a deal so I just forgot to change uh, change those numbers here to uh, two and three and yeah now it should work so let's test it okay yep okay perfect now it works Okay, that's exactly how I uh, wanted it to be. So yeah, here you have it. Okay, so to show you that you can use the method with the collider on pretty much everything, I added this little heart here. Uh, it has a tag um, with damage. And if uh, you look in the script, it's, it's exactly the same thing as the respawn trigger. Um, just make the same code and uh, put a death count uh, plus one and if you just walk against the heart you get damage and eventually die okay so that was my tutorial if you enjoyed the video then leave a like and yeah thank you for watching